Hello, it's John, saying hello from a stormy Scotland, so I apologise for any background noise. Um, today I'd like to talk about free will and other laws of the universe. So I definitely believe in free will. I feel that everybody has the right, that we live in a, a free will universe where we can decide at any time what we feel and what we do. And in our human lives, we definitely, I definitely, uh, wrap ourselves up in a whole load of kind of constraints like like a money and house and a job and um, being able to do loads of things you know with my life like cram loads of things into into one day and at any given time in this present moment I've always got free will to choose what I do and I think that's a fascinating way of looking at the the human journey is that actually at any given moment um, you're making a, a choice whether it's conscious or unconscious to be doing what you're doing right now and so it's always a good time to take a breath and check and say listen to your heart and say well is this what I want to be doing is this what I want to be doing in the future and if the answer feels like yes then you know keep doing it um, but if your intuition says I think I should be doing something else then that's a good time to think differently um, and I think also free will comes into so many aspects of our lives, like we actually use it all the time. And one of our kind of weaknesses is that it's relatively easy to program as humans, right? You just say to us, hey, you know, you should be normal and you should be like everybody else and you should do all these things that everyone else does. And here's some like, you know, pop stars or uh, movie stars that you should be like. And so, you know, follow them and don't follow your own free will. And sometimes when we make that choice, so we're kind of, uh, tricked into that choice, then it's still our choice, but it's not necessarily resonating with our heart. So it's always good to take time and just listen to your heart. And I think between our free will and our hearts, we can um, have a, a fantastic discernment. So we can, you know, breathe in and, and let, you know, decisions and feelings and, and all aspects of our life kind of flow through us and through our hearts and listen to how that feels. And and then make that kind of conscious decision and go, you know, I'm not like, I'm not happy with that. Or yes, I love this. I want to do this all the time. I want to do this with my life. Um, and I think the, the other interesting aspect is uh, there's all kinds of um, laws like, you know, there's the ability to discern, which you can definitely use your heart for, you know, deciding if something is good or bad for you. Um, and the other super interesting thing is you can you can ask. So this I feel there's this law of the universe where you can just ask someone or something um, their intention. So you can say, you know, what is what is your name? Just like you would in you know normal day to day life. And also what um, what is your intention? You know, do you have my best intentions um, at heart? And you know they really have to answer. Are you compelled to answer with the with the truth? And you'll, when you hear the words, when you hear and feel the feelings coming from them, you'll know whether it feels right to you or not, whether it's good for you or not. And then you have your free will. You can decide like whether you're there or not. And so I think this, we've been at this for almost four minutes, but um, when you lead all the way to something like fear, you think actually fear is not massively useful in my life. It, it helps me uh, learn and, and, and teach me but actually like day to day it's not very useful um, because I can I, I've got free will so I can decide what I want to do I've got a heart so I can decide um, what something feels like whether it feels good or not I have like my own discernment my own sovereignty and uh, happiness and and so fear is really a kind of distraction it's like hey you should be worrying about this thing or you should be scared of this thing and I think it's fine to have kind of fight or flight modes. Like if, you know, you're in an immediate panic and you're like, you something's on fire and you need to like run away. Like that's a good thing if you want to like, you know, keep your life or keep this life. But at the same time, um, outside of that, like fear is not very useful. And so I just wanted to share my, my thoughts on these aspects today. And please tell me in the comments, like how do you deal with uh, your free will? How do you exercise it? How do you... Um, listen to it and resonate with with what comes through your heart uh, and also fear like how, how do you deal with with fear um, so thank you for watching really appreciate all your comments and support
please like and comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I'll be posting a song later today um, called One, uh, which is certainly along these lines, so I hope you enjoy watching it. Take care, send my love.